I've talked before about how difficult it is for us to come up with a name for the kind of music we make and sometimes we have referred to our music as orientalist music or orientalist breakbeat so let's have a little chat about the word orientalist the late palestinian professor edward said published a book in 1978 called orientalism which has been hugely influential he defined orientalism as the west's patronizing representation of the East and its societies and the people who inhabit Asia, North Africa and the Middle East. He thought that attitude is inextricably tied to the imperialist societies who produced it. He therefore thought that a lot of Orientalist work in art, in culture, is inherently political and servile to power. One definition of Orientalism is style, artefacts or traits considered characteristic of the peoples and cultures of Asia, the representation of Asia in a stereotyped way that is regarded as embodying a colonialist attitude. Edward Said's work is massively more complicated than that and that is a subject for elsewhere, but worth mentioning at this point because this is the context for what I'm talking about. Another definition is a way of seeing that imagines, emphasises, exaggerates and distorts differences of Arab peoples and cultures as compared to that of Europe and the United States. It often involves seeing Arab culture as exotic, backward, uncivilised and at times dangerous. In the 18th and 19th centuries, and no doubt in the 20th century too, there were a lot of painters who were known as Orientalists. And I think they were a mixed bag. There were some among them who projected their own prejudices and misconceptions about the East into their art. There's a lot of obsession with harems. There's a lot of pictures of scantily clad females. In the literary world, there were, for example, translations of The Thousand and One Nights. Uh, the one I'm thinking of in particular is by Richard Burton, who translated from some old, genuine manuscripts, but managed to make them a lot more sexual than the originals were and I think it was a projection of his own particular predilections. However my view is that a great many of the so-called orientalist painters in particular genuinely had a love for the parts of the world that they had visited. There's a stack of amazing paintings out there which I believe have captured details of street life and daily life from across the east back in those times that otherwise would be absolutely lost to history. So I do not have a negative view of Orientalist painters. I think they have a lot to offer us. We hope that the music we make as Secret Archives of the Vatican and Thousand Yard Prayer and Souk Dragon and the other random names we occasionally use falls within the category of what I would see as good Orientalism. We appropriate ideas and rhythms and tuning systems and we use instruments either real or sampled from various parts of the world and my hope is that we do it respectfully we don't pretend that what we're doing is the real thing from parts of asia or north africa or wherever we're not trying to masquerade as something that we're not we openly acknowledge where we get our ideas from and if you get our music from Bandcamp in particular you will see that there are notes against most tracks where I, very often I will put in the, the rhythm we used, the scale or tuning system we've used, so that the information is there for those that are interested in digging a little bit deeper and maybe going back to the sources of the music. My musical partner Louis and myself are both Londoners. We've grown up in a part of the world where actually the world comes to us. The music of the world passes through London, the food, the, the, uh, the fashion, the art, cultural ideas, religious ideas, philosophical ideas from around the world for various historical reasons pass through London. They are very much a part of our lives. And that's why we feel it's absolutely appropriate to refer to our music as transglobal and to use the term orientalist when describing what we do. It's orientalist in the respectful way in that we're digging into our knowledge of other parts of the world and hopefully we're doing it in the right way. Let us know what you think.